Major Slack videos. Well, yeah, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back. Let's walk through some more control. We just finished the My Brother's Keeper mission, and we now have the Levitate skill. The very, very first thing you should do right after getting the Levitate skill is go after the Unlimited Ammo mod, also known as, or officially known as, the Eternal Fire mod. What this will do will actually be better to show you after we get the mod. But yeah, you can only get this if you have the Levitate skill. Um, this will require... First of all, um, if you're following this walkthrough and you have three ability points, you may want to save them until the end of this video because we're also going to get get to a secret area which will give us another ability point. And then you have four ability points and at that point you would have the option to get health five if you so desired. All right, so hang on to that for now. All right, for now we're going to fast travel to the NSC coolant pumps area of fast travel. Uh, go up here to maintenance, look down to the NSC coolant pumps that's the one the one right to the right of the furnace chamber area okay go there and it all kicks off here now I did show you this um, this multimedia tape I believe we ran that earlier and I explained that I was gonna show you what that was all about later on well now is later <laughs> if you will let's do it now Okay, it's all kicking off. It all jumps off in here in the furnace room, okay? Go in the furnace room. I heard tell that you actually have to play the tape. Otherwise, you can't get the mod. I, don't, I can't verify that. Um, I've always played the tape. You find the tape right here, right next. There's the furnace, okay? Showing the map where I am in the furnace chamber on the west side. And you listen to this. My name is Dr. Pierce, lead researcher of the parakinesiology department. I believe I've discovered a code Omega paranatural entity residing within the Bureau itself. Right under our noses. Darling refused to allocate me the budget or resources, so, so I'm taking matters into my own hands. Let this recording be the proof I need to convince them. The furnace can speak. It's been talking to me for some time now. Listen. Did you hear that? It's a sentient force capable of communicating. I checked and, and there's no record of, of ever installing this furnace. I believe that... Oh, oh, sorry. What? Yes, I can feed you. Uh, what do you eat? I see. Uh, I'll try to find some volunteers. Yeah. <laughs> Cuckoo. Cuckoo. No, actually, um, she's not crazy. The furnace does eat um, a certain kind of item. What is that? And it's like that item is televisions with a fire on them. And you can find the first one right here in the furnace room in the southwest corner up there. Let's grab it. Can we put it down? Basically a television with a fireplace, burning fire. This is what you're looking for. Now, what you have to do is find six of these and feed them to the furnace. If you do that, you get the Eternal Fire mod. So I'm going to show you where to find all six. Make sure you get the lock on... Uh, like there, locks onto the furnace, and chuck it in. There you go. That's one. Feed me. Okay, we're gonna get you another one. Feed me. Okay, we're gonna get you another one. Next one. I have to look at my notes here. East end of the furnace chamber, look up to find an opening up to the left of the entrance. Okay, east end of the furnace chamber, that's where we are now. Look up to find an opening. Go in here. Avail yourself some goodies. And shield deficiency mod, and the TV is right there. It looks like there's another way to get there, but I've never been able to find that way. Anyways, I always just levitate up here and grab the TV like this. If the game will let me. 
Don't grab this game. Yeah, grab the TV. There we go. And you kind of got to wiggle it. You may have to wiggle it through. I got it through. No problem that time. This is TV number two. Hey, make sure you get a lock on. Chuck it in. TV number three. X is the furnace chamber. Of course. Go to the left. Up here. Going into the area. And it's the power plant. Look for that sign there. Go up the first set of stairs. Turn to the left. Go into this room here. And there's TV number three. By the way, if you die while doing this, um, it's, it's okay. You don't have to start over. Lock on and throw it in. Feed me! Feed me! Okay, we got another one for you. Yeah, no, the game will remember your progress. Alright, so, TV number four. Same dealio. Exit, turn to the left, going towards the NSC power plant sign. Some of these uh, may require some combat, okay? So we got the third one there. This time we're going to go up the second set of stairs and go in here. And the TV is right there. Um, some enemies may spawn in here. But I'm going to see if I could just speed run in, grab it, and come out without having to deal with the enemies, okay? So let's go in. Here we go. Got it. There we go, so we don't have to deal with those guys. Haha, <laughs> got your TV. No more Golden Girls for you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's chuck this one into the fire. Right, right up close, lock on, check it in. That's number four. Feed me! Feed me! Alright, we're gonna get you another one. TV number five. Exit the furnace chamber. This time we're gonna go to the right, into the NSC coolant pumps. And we're gonna follow that rocky tunnel all the way down into the NSC coolant pumps area. And the TV is located... It's looking at my notes here. On the north side... Um, I'm going to show you. This may involve some combat. In fact, I'm pretty positive it's going to involve some combat. And this one's kind of hard to sneak out. Let me give it a shot, though. You okay, follow the tunnel all the way down. Okay, now, here we are. It's on the north side, right below a big NSC coolant pump sign. So let's see if I can just speed run in and get it without having to deal with the enemies. It's right there. See this NSC coolant pump sign? And you can see the TV is right there. Let's see if we can grab it. It's right there. Aha, got your TV! This is kind of tricky getting it up here. But this is way better than a practice run. 
This is the first time I've done this, but I have to, without actually having to go into combat, even though enemies spawn. Okay, come on out. What? Where? Where? Where do you think you're going? You're coming with me. Okay, look for the furnace area. Here we go. Lock on, chuck it in, and one more to go. This last one, it's a lot easier. Basically, it's at, see the NSC power plant area, the big circular area in the center of the map? It's at the very, very top of the structure in that area. Um, you could just return the exact same way we just went and climb up manually, or you can, whoops, use the control point to fast travel to the NSC power plant upper level, which we've already been to. Right here, NSC power plant upper level. That'll save you a lot of time. So let's go there. Okay, and the TV is at the very top of this structure here. We gotta get up there. This, um, if enemies spawn here, um, it's probably in your best interest to kill them because this is a tricky climb. What we gotta do is get on top of that thing because we we don't have enough levitation to get up to this level. So you gotta get on top of this thing and then levitate up and go there and then um, we can take it from there. Let's see if I can pull it off of Here, see how they're spawning. for this is kind of tricky because once again we don't have enough levitation to get up right here you're looking for these pipes right here got to get on top of them over here like that easy 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 drop down okay and level tate up again okay levitate up again get yourself some goodies Another nice mod, and now we get to get up here on top of this. Yep, easy. And up. Once you get here, you should get an ability point because it's a secret area. Look in the bottom right corner of your screen. And here is the TV. How do we get down, Slack? This is kind of tricky. The best way I found to get down is just simply drop all the way down and then hit your jump button to slow your descent just before you hit the ground. Okay, so grab the TV and we want to land right... Um, if you picture the NSC power plant like a clock, you want to land at the 8 o'clock position. Alright? So we're looking for that. That will put us right in front of the door so we can just rush in and without having to deal with the enemies. Okay, so right... No. there okay yeah that's right there so I'm gonna jump off out and drop down slow your descent uh oh <laughs> there we go come on now no oh my gosh <laughs> no combat <laughs> thumbs up for the slackster now, you may want to do things differently. You may want to just, like, you know, kill them all so that you can just get these at your leisure. But it is possible to escape combat if you know exactly what you're doing. If you're rolling with the slackster, yeah, stick with the slack and you won't get whacked. Okay, so it's TV number six. Here we go. And as soon as you check it in, you're going to get the mod automatically. There we go. See in the bottom right corner of your screen, Eternal Fire Weapon Mod. Now this only works on the grip. 
weapon form, but it's it's fantastic. So let's swap out this one and Where is it? Oh, is it a personal mod? No, here it is. Here it is. Eternal Fire. Ammo refund chance on hit. And let me put on, say, armor mod. Okay, so basically what it does is as long as you're, you're hitting something, you get your bullet back. It's that simple. Um, if you miss, you don't get your bullet back. So as long as you're hitting something, you have infinite ammo. There you go. Let's go try it out. This is especially uh, useful on bigger targets, obviously, because then you never miss. For example, the fridge boss. Let me just. Uh... Go. And we got an extra ability point. on the grid. See, it never runs out. As long as you're hitting something. Of course, you know, if you're like me, you want to mix in some blow-up shit every now and then. Just for gits and shiggles. You know what you're talking about? Oh, I don't think so. Incredibly, incredibly useful. <laughs> there you go. Who loves you? Major Slack. That's right. Major Slack loves you. You got yourself an eternal, an unlimited ammo mod. Done and done. Let's just go back to Central Executive. Actually, I should have uh, ran around and see if there's any materials or whatnot. Oh yeah, mods and whatnot. Done and done. Eternal fire. Thumbs up for the slackster. Yeah. Now we're cooking with gas. Now we are cooking with gas. Okay, so everything jumps off. At Central Executive, where we have to talk to Emily Pope, and I'm going to spend my um, skill points first thing next video. All right, so thanks for watching, and if you thought this was remotely entertaining and/or informative, you know what to do: give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, post a comment, stuff like that there, and I'll see you next time for some more control. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack. 
to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1. That's all. That's all it takes. All right. Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.